Zero Accounting Software 2023 Enter Transaction for Owner Withdrawal or Personal Payment Using Bank Feeds. Get ready to become an accountant hero with Zero 2023. Here we are in our custom zero homepage going into the company file we set up in a prior presentation the bank feed file duplicating some tabs to put reports in like we do every time right click in the tab up top so we can duplicate it then we're going to right click the tab again and duplicate it again let's go back to the tab to the middle accounting drop down we want to open up the balance sheet report then i'm going to tab to the right accounting drop down again this time opening the income statement or profit and loss report changing the date range on the income statement to bring it back to 2022 because that's the period that we have our bank feeds in so january and december of 2022 all right running that let's go back to the first tab now open up our bank feeds which is under the accounting drop down we're in the bank accounts we've connected or uploaded information for our checking account manage the account we're going to go into the transactions and then i'm going to go into the reconcile we have been constructing our books as much as we can directly from the bank feeds that means for the most part when we have decreases to the checking account then the other side we're going to record as they come through our bank feeds imagining we have an electronic transfer kind of system so that we have the information we need to automate our accounting system and uh, the other side usually is going to go to an expense the most common reoccurring transactions being like the telephone bill the utility bill the gas bill which we can easily automate however there are some situations where if you have a decrease to the checking account you need to be careful to make sure that you properly categorize it instead of just having it lumped in to uh, an expense so some common examples of that would be you're pulling money out for example for a draw so if you pull money out for a draw meaning you're taking it out for personal use we want to make sure that we don't record that as an expense because if we do we will be overstating these expenses we will be understating uh, the net income now if you're doing taxes in the United States you might say well that's good for taxes because my net income is going down which means I pay less tax but obviously it's not you can't legally do that right so you'd be miscategorizing your draws at ex as expenses and if you get audited and whatnot you can you're going to be in trouble for doing that so what do we want to do on a proper uh, method when we take money out for a draw that should go on the balance sheet so what should happen we're going to see something come out of the checking account which is a draw the checking account is going to go down and the other side which is a liability right now because we don't have any uh we haven't put any deposits in and the other side is going to go to equity now notice it's the equity accounts often confusing to people uh partially because the equity account has different names when you're talking about different types of organizations but the total equity is basically the same in concept so in other words if you're a sole proprietor one owner of the corporation when you pull money out of the business you want it, you're going to call it a draw normally now you could just record it to the to the retained earnings or the capital account but oftentimes people like to break out in their own account the draws the money that we are taking out of the business if it was a corporation we would record it it's the same kind of concept but we would record it as dividends uh, and the major difference between those two things is of course if you're a sole proprietor what's going to happen you're going to generate revenue as you generate revenue your assets are going to go up hopefully your cash goes up and you can either invest that back into the business buying more equipment or you can take it out of the business for personal use in the form of a draw and you can decide when you want to take money out of course because it's your business if it's a sole proprietor if it's a corporation however it's a separate legal entity which has its own like corporate structure which is similar to like a government structure so now you've got to have votes to determine you know who who's going to get to be able to take a draw out and the draws are going to be allocated not to an individual but per share so that means you have to come up with how much is going to go to the owners the shareholders on a per share basis which means you got to do some bureaucratic kind of calculations there typically to figure out what who, what draws are going to be taken out and then all the draws are going to be taken out and allocated based on the number of shares if you have a partnership 
then you might have multiple partners who are similar to a sole proprietor and they have more leeway to take out whatever draws they want and you have to actually track those separate partnership equity accounts to, to manage their equity balances and possibly have a separate draws account for each partnership. So partnerships in some ways are actually more complex than uh, a corporation because the, the goal of a corporation is to be able to scale without being complex because because of that you know deviation or 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 breaking out of the of the corporate stocks all right now from a bookkeeping standpoint then anytime something is spent for the personal use you would like to take it out as a draw would be the best way to do it and then uh and then record it possibly as a personal expense possibly in another zero accounting software if you want to track your personal expenses uh, in zero as well, because we would like to have a separation between the business and the personal. But sometimes that doesn't happen. Sometimes people just spend money for personal stuff out of the business account. If someone spent money for personal stuff out of the business account, then you could just pick that up and say, okay, if you spent money on Disneyland or something, I'm not going to record it as Disneyland expense, but instead I'm going to record it as a draw so it's not the end of the world if that happens it's not like you can't you can't account for that however it's more difficult to account for that especially if your bookkeeper is not the actual owner of the business because it's going to be difficult to determine if you're just spending money out of one account which stuff is business and which stuff uh, is personal but you could kind of break that out if you if you wanted to and also if you wanted to do account categories you might be able to have an income statement that's broken out that that be able to break out your business and personal allowing you for small businesses sole proprietorships for example to possibly have an income statement which would be what's necessary to create their tax returns on the schedule c with with just one zero account and be able to track your personal stuff in there as well although that's not you know what you really want to do for a full service accounting system because you're kind of because it's still kind of mixing things up on the balance sheet, but it's kind of nice. It could be a system that that works, uh, so you have that general option as well. All right, so let's go back on over. Let's go to the first tab and set up a draws account, or see if we have a draws account. So I'm going to go to the accounting dropdown. We're going to go into the chart of accounts, and the draws account is going to be an equity account. So if I go into the equity accounts down here, we've got retained earnings. Let's add another account. Let's call it uh, let's call it three uh, eight zero zero or something and call it draws. So I'm going to say add an account three eight zero zero. It's going to be an equity type of account uh, equity, and I'm going to call it draws. You could call it withdrawals, draws. You know you might have multiple draws for different capital accounts. If it was a corporation, it would be called dividends. We'll save it there. All right, let's go back into our bank feed. So that draws account, by the way, is right there. So, okay. Back into our accounting dropdown, bank accounts. Back into our transactions for our bank account here. And reconcile. And I'm gonna find, I'm gonna find one that we can work with here. Now let's use this one. So this one uh, looks like it's the transfer, but we're gonna, we're gonna pretend that this $75 was pulled out uh, as a draw so the so the owner pulled the money out as a draw